Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. I really appreciate all of your continued support in the form of likes and comments and following me over on Instagram. It does really, really help my channel out a lot so again thank you today I have a great monthly lifestyle box to share with you it is called her mine and I've opened it several times here on the channel this box was sent to me for review by Pam and Trudy the co-owners of this subscription it is $44.95 per month plus five dollars in shipping but if you use the code Noel 10 or the link that I'll leave for you in the description box below you can actually save 10% on your first box which is a pretty good deal I love this box because one I admire them for starting a new business last year at the height of the pandemic and also for their mission of using primarily women-owned businesses for the products that appear in this box. They do a really good job of curating it around a central theme which I think is really nice and I'm always really uh, curious to see what we've got because they don't do a ton of spoilers. I like spoilers but I know a lot of people love that element of surprise. They do usually tell us what the upcoming theme is. So right on top you see the theme for January is fresh start which of course is totally appropriate although you have to remember you can get a fresh start any time of year it doesn't have to be in January as long as you're willing to take a moment to pause and reflect and maybe redirect if you need to so one of the cool things that they do in here is they kind of categorize the different items as well as tell us about the different businesses that are featured for example on these first few pages we have a refresh section and a steep section saver we also have about face insights and then here on this back inside cover it looks like we have an intention section where it's not about an item it's really a little bit more like introspection some questions to ask yourself for that fresh start maybe some journal prompts whether or not you actually put pen to paper so it looks like it says what is it that you need to do to ensure that this year is your year who and what do you need to let go of what boundaries do you need to set what do you need to be held accountable for and who is going to hold you accountable and do they know this? That is very important for sure. So I kind of like that little extra bit. So that's kind of cool. And it looks like this actually came from a self-care coach. So that's kind of interesting. So they had like kind of a guest writer for this little section, but I don't think there's actually like an item or a consultation that is associated with it. But I'll have to read that in a little more detail later on. It does tell us on the back page that our February theme is self-love, which of course, again, is very appropriate for the season, but also something that we should practice year round. So let's go ahead and uh, see what else we've got in here. So. Uh, right on top we've got this nice little card that says fresh start and then super cute they do a little handwritten note which you guys know I love they did also include the dots over my e which I really appreciate it says thank you for taking the time to review our box we hope you enjoyed this month's box it is filled with items specially curated to help you make a fresh start in 2021 Pam and Trudy so thank you um, it's really cute on the back of the like pamphlet they signed it woo 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 <laughs> <laughs> so inside we've just got some bright red tissue paper and a little sticker this is packed for just for you by Trudy let me open that up nicely so inside it does look like we've got a bunch of goodies all nestled in here perfectly so let's just see what I, I find right on top so it looks like we do have some like um, little notes from some of the vendors that might be in here to tell us a little bit more about their businesses I usually hold on to these for a little while at least so if you guys ever have any questions feel free to drop me those questions in the comments below and if I can answer it based on some of these little extra cards I will definitely do that so one looks like a financial refresh and I kind of did see that in the back pages so it looks like one of the items is not really like a tangible item it's like a financial consult now I will say I personally am not a huge fan of when uh, one of the items in a box is a consultation one because you might not need it because you might already have a financial advisor and I just feel like if it's something that like you can't really easily re-gift to someone it shouldn't necessarily count as um, the value towards the value of the box and she doesn't necessarily include the uh, retail values of that consultation or of any of the other items in the box so that's just my personal uh, preference if they're trying to promote another small business and it is uh, run by Valerie Hall so it is a women-owned business I, I still like 
personally don't feel like that should count as uh, something towards the value on the box, but it looks like it's definitely valuable. It says January is the perfect time to set your financial goals at Gaspar Wealth. We help you create plans to reach your targets. So, and it says the same thing. So, uh, Valerie from Gaspar Wealth is generously offering our Her Mind Sisterhood free consultation. See her card inside your box for more information. So again, I think that's really nice, but a lot of people already have their own financial consultants or just aren't in that space or that headspace to use that. So it is a nice thing and it definitely goes with the theme. But for me personally, it's like not something that I will probably uh, go that extra mile to use uh, or, or pass on to someone else. But let me know what your thoughts are about consultations uh, or or like you know exercise programs or nutrition programs sometimes these kinds of things appear in boxes and I am kind of on the fence about how I feel about it um, if it's just kind of an extra thing to promote that business I don't mind but like I said if it's like taking up a good portion of the chunk of the value of the box it's not something that I personally like um, let's see if we can find a tangible product though in here to talk about a little bit more so in the about face section or detoxify, we do have a clean slate mask and it's from Dirtbag Beauty, which we do see in a lot of subscription boxes. I think I actually got uh, three different products, three different like pouches in an etoile box recently. I think there's just the one in here. So it, the owner is Aster Elliott. It says best for oily combo and normal skin types, vegan. This natural vegan facial mask is designed to help combat breakouts, loosen up blocked pores and remove trapped dirt and oil, leaving your skin clean, clear, and refreshed. So that is great. I don't usually personally use like face masks that I have to mix up, but I will say that I appreciate that they have also include a silicone face mask brush. It says easy to use and clean. This face mask brush features a silicone tip that glides softly over the skin. Perfect for applying the clean safe mask. As you know, we try to give you all the tools you need to enjoy the items in your box. And that I love when uh, boxes do pair things together. So it came in this nice little plastic and, um, I've gotten one of these in another, I think like a Luxly beauty box, but that is really nice to have a tool to go ahead and mix up your mask and apply it to your face. And these are really like kind of a good thing to have in your arsenal, especially if you do get a lot of subscriptions that do come a lot of with a lot of these like powder masks that you have to mix. Uh, so let's see what it says. Aster is a survivor of domestic violence with the help from Good Samaritans. She was able to flee an abusive environment, hoping to start a new life. That's awesome. Uh, there's a little bit more. I won't read you the entire paragraph. We'd be here all day, but it does say as a female owned business, they've taken a pledge to help build awareness of domestic violence and sharing their story to help encourage others to seek out help. In addition, a percentage of dirtbag beauty proceeds are donated to domestic violence shelters in California. Love hearing those stories behind different businesses. And that does make me that much more excited to try the products and support those businesses in the future so that's what we got a nice little like pairing of the clean slate mask from dirtbag beauty and the little um it says it's by zoraya i think uh or zoraya and that's a silicone face mask brush it looks like we got a snack and you guys know that i love getting snacks in subscription boxes although i will admit that they are one of the hardest things to actually photograph when i am doing my like flat lays and product pho photography over for Instagram um, mostly because sometimes they come in bags like this one that just gets squished and there's no way to make like a squished like wrinkly bag look that great so usually I have to like open the products up and like put them in a bowl and then I usually wind up eating the snack right away instead of like saving it for the appropriate time but this does have a really pretty package so this is Himalayan pink salt. It says free spirit snacking, Bohana popped water lily seeds, light, crunchy, and satisfying. I have never heard of water lily seeds as a snack. Let me know in the comments below if you have, but that sounds interesting. It says it has 110 calories per serving. It's a two ounce bag. Let's see how many, it does say there's two servings per container. So really it's 220 calories because I'm probably gonna eat the whole bag all at once if I find out that I like them. So, but that is kind of cool to find like a new snack to try. So let's see what it says about that. This is in the savor section, which totally makes sense. Bohana popped water lily seeds. Popped water lily seeds have been an Ayurvedic superfood for centuries. Ayurvedic is a holistic mind body life science that believes every individual is unique and no one lifestyle works for everyone. Uh, we always called Ayurveda like the sister science to yoga and you kind of learn your like body and dietary needs. There's different like types. You can do quizzes to figure out what you are, what your dosha is. It says the foundation is based on listening to your body 
body and doing what works for you. Water lily seeds are one of the most prescribed seeds in Ayurveda because of their alkaline character, making them beneficial for all body types. And the founders of Bohana are Nadine Habayeb and Priya Bartia, so that's cool. It says Priyal and Nadine are both spiritual junkies curious to learn about some of the world's most ancient practices and traditional superfoods. On this journey, Priyal went back to her Indian roots and rediscovered her childhood snack, popped water lily seeds. So I'm guessing it's kind of like popcorn. Um, let's see what else it says. When Priyal introduced this puffed super snack to Nadine, she was hooked and made it her go-to snack too. The two never looked back and vowed to bring this ancient super snack to free spirit snackers everywhere. So that's awesome. I'm really looking forward to trying it out. And it does look like uh, they had something to do with... Uh, both sharks, Barbara Corcoran and Kevin O'Leary made Nadine offers for a stake in Bohana. So they must have been like on Shark Tank. That's that's pretty cool and, and a good sign of a good business. All right, you guys, let's see what else we've got in here. We have got, uh, so it says just tea, loose leaf herbal tea, little berry hibiscus. Um, so this is funny because you guys know what I always say. I have so much tea from so many subscription boxes. I like tea. I just don't drink it every day the way I do with coffee. But this is a lovely, lovely tin. It's got a clear top so you can actually see that loose leaf tea. And then I love that they included this little scoop. That is something really, really nice. And I love the flavor. Sounds really good too. It says vibrant and tart. It is caffeine free. When I drink tea, I usually like my little kick of caffeine, but this is pretty. And it looks like something that I could also like pass on as a gift to someone. If I was doing like a little like gift basket, you know, with like a mug and all the feel good, like Hugo vibes. Let me find this in the pamphlet. So it says this is in the obviously steep section. It says little berry hibiscus is a beautiful burst of color. Pink hibiscus petals, purple berries, green lemongrass, and red rooibos. Uh, organically grown and handpicked in Kenya. No pesticides or chemicals are sprayed on their tea leaves. Each spoon took two hours to hand carve by a fairly paid artisan for sus from sustainable olive wood. Love that. Uh, so this is from, but it says Beth is an example of one of the farmers of the women's herbal tea co-op co-op it says as a dedicated mother Beth supports her two sons and daughters Beth's employment allows her to pay for her children's so school fees that's really cool just tea is a Canadian Kenyan family partnering together to create new opportunities for small-scale tea farmers in western Kenya ethically sourced farmer direct with their Nandi Hills teams they have established Kenya's first ever small-scale farmer-owned artisanal tea cottage factory called Tumoy Teas they're creating teas that have never been made before in Kenya and they create 40 plus sustainable jobs for youth and women in rural Kenya. They source their organic herbs from a wonderful women's tea co-op in eastern Kenya and over 80% of the employees are women and they support hundreds of small-scale tea farmers in their community. So I actually listened to a podcast where uh, she was interviewed and they were talking about how they do want to sort of start uh, sourcing some of their products from around the world. I personally think that um, that might change like the tenor, like the style of this box, which has this like nice kind of like boutique feel to it for the most part. But this is an example where I think it's a great like globally sourced item uh, that is supporting a good cause and fair trade, but it still kind of goes with the like oat styling and curation of her mind. So this is, a, you know, I was like kind of worried that it was gonna start to take that like global ethnic like flair to it instead of maintaining this very like beautiful boutique experience but I think this is a good example of where they they did get something from from abroad but still kind of kept this like elevated uh feel to the box so I'm excited about that and to see how they start to incorporate more of that uh global sourcing now speaking of pairings they did include something else to kind of go along with the tea and I would probably call this the hero item of the box it is uh, in the refresh section and it is a glass beverage diffuser now just because I get so many subscription boxes I do have quite a few of these but I do admire and appreciate like the simplicity of this one because it is just plain clear glass with a nice silver top at the same time I almost feel like I wish it had a little bit more styling just so that it was more unique and felt a little more uh, boutique versus generic. But you can kind of see, I think this is actually, 
I guess that is metal so it does have plastic on the inside of the lid but then it just has this like strainer in here where you can put tea definitely you can also do like a fruit infusion um, I usually if I am doing tea because like you know the water only passes through that tea once I usually will like pre steep it and then just kind of like have the extra in there because otherwise you have to like keep the the bottle almost upside down to keep it flavoring the water continuously uh, you know or if the water like drops below that level of this little like uh, net here or this little like mesh strainer then it's not flavoring the water actively anymore once it drops below that level but this is a 12 ounce bottle and it is nice because it's like this like smaller diameter so it's gonna fit in most of your um, holders like in your car or what have you your drink holders uh, because it is glass and it is like um, a little bit delicate nice double walled but I would definitely encourage you if you have something like this to put like a koozie on it even though it does take away from like the sleek styling just to, to protect it because it is a mess when they break and it's a bummer too so it says as a part of your fresh start this year try to stay hydrated we love these diffusers so much that we had just had to get one for you this glass diffuser can be used for tea we included some for you or fruit infused water we didn't include fruit because no one wants smushed strawberries that is very very true um, that is so cute all right so it doesn't say anything about this particular company um, but it just tells us a little bit more about Pam and Trudy here at the bottom it says although we are mother and daughter we couldn't be more different when it comes to staying hydrated Pam drinks water all day long Trudy on the other hand can have the same bottle of water on her desk for two days how often do you hydrate part of Trudy's fresh start is to drink water throughout the day what about you I have been trying to drink water more like I feel like forever so lately I've been using like a tumbler a double walled uh, insulated tumbler with a straw because I find that I drink more when I have a straw available to me all right we have one more item in this box and it is something uh, in the insights section uh, which was also with the uh, uh, financial refresh consultation uh, this is a vivu at home wellness tracker and I have to say this is probably like the fifth or sixth time I have gotten one of these kits it's a urinalysis kit you like basically pee on a stick and then you download this app and then that app will tell you like what some of your like dietary needs are it says vivu is the first at home wellness tracker that uses urine to provide personalized insights and recommendations unique to your body while helping you track your hydration pH ketones kidney and liver functions and so much more the best part is it takes just two minutes to take a test and get your results instantly from home through your mobile app the co-founder is Miri Tathan so I think it is really cool like the first time I received this I thought it was so novel and so interesting I feel like I've gotten a lot of them though so if you're anything like me even if you don't get quite as many uh, sub boxes as I do you've probably seen this at least a couple of times not to say that it's not great to like go ahead and do it but again it's one of those things where like I know a lot of people are sort of leery about anything where they have to download an app to their phone even if it is free and they might not actually use it so this is another thing where I'm like if it's one of the like main items in the box it doesn't it doesn't like really feel like something that should count as a as a high proportion of the box value in my personal opinion even though I think it's a great product and a kind of like novel and new and interesting um, I have passed some of them on to friends I've definitely used them um, but I'm kind of like at this point I, I don't need any more of them so let's just review the the great box that we got from Hermine this month we got our lovely uh, glass beverage diffuser infuser which I do really like we got the matching uh, tea to go along with it with this beautiful hand carved spoon which is probably the part I'm most excited about we got the popped water lily seeds, which you guys know I love me a snack. We got the Dirt Bag Beauty Clean Slate Mask and the little like applicator, the little silicone brush. And then we got the Vivu at Home Wellness Tracker. And then we also got that Financial Refresh. So if I'm being completely honest, I feel like this uh, box is a little bit light in terms of like tangible products compared to past boxes that we have received. But they are all good items and they all definitely go with the theme of Fresh Start. Let me know know though what you guys think in the comments below and if you appreciated this video I would appreciate a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.